Hi everybody, my name is Rhys Barber. I'm the audiologist here at Audiology Associates. We upload new earwax removal videos every Monday, Wednesday and Friday at 9 p.m. UK time, so please consider subscribing. Well, yeah, I'm in. <laughs> if it was tea, not a big fan of the old coffee, but tea would do me. Let's take a look at this side. Oh yeah, there it is. Basically what you have is, a, is plugged the canal. It's a soft piece of wax. Should be easy enough to remove though. Let's okay. take a look in this other side view as well. Now the dog said, see if it's quite hard. Now to me it looks softer on the outside edge. But well, you've been doing it. Anyway. Yeah, it's, I mean, the one on this side looks a little bit harder. There's a piece of dry skin at the top of the canal as well. A little gap at the bottom. It looks like there's more wax behind it. Did you used to do a lot of swimming then? No, I hate no? swimming. No? <laughs> I do it in the case. <laughs> I've you wouldn't do it out of choice. I've never been a swimmer. I've never been a swimmer. Right. The reason I asked the question, there's a slight narrowing to the ear canal in there, and sometimes that can be an indication of somebody who's used no. the swimmer. No problem. So what we'll do, let's start with this right side first of all, okay? So I'm going to pop uh, pop all the tools together here now, and then you don't have to do anything special with your head position as you are okay. there. You can just relax into it. Let's pop that one on there. Let's get this one ready. Let's turn the suction pump on for you. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so as we look into this ear canal, you can see we've got that dry wax there to the right hand side stuck to the canal wall. So the first thing we're going to need to do is unstick this section. So we're just going to work with the standard size Zolna tube here, lifting off the canal wall. So unsticking this wax, pulling, lifting it up. Just see it starting. There we are, starting to detach away. Now look at the entrance to the canal. You can see how, how stuck that was. We really have to kind of stretch this. There we go. So that's unstuck it from the entrance. What we're going to do now is slowly work down this canal wall. You can give it a bit of a wiggle just to try and free it up a little bit. You can see it's very sticky and this kind of stretchy type of wax. Just trying to get that unstuck there. Moving on to a different section now, so moving on to the top, pulling it down from the top. You can see the kind of indentation in the middle and, <clears throat> excuse me, the wax around the outside edge here as well. So that centre section is not going to come away until we can get all this, uh, this, this kind of more sticky, dried up wax from around the outside edge of the ear canal. Just lots of very sort of gentle movements. A bit of dry skin there like you see underneath, so we're just taking that away. Keep working. You can start to get a little bit of movement now to the top of the wax, you see, as we pull this okay, down. I'm just going to spray a little bit of olive oil just to loosen it around the edges because the edges of this wax are really sticky. So if we can just loosen that off a little bit, it'll make a big difference in there. There it goes. Plain old olive oil this is now just going in. Perfect. So I pop in the olive oil into the ear canal now. We're, we're hoping it's going to get underneath that bit of lifted, uh, lifted earwax on the side and just loosen it off the canal wall, reduce some of the stickiness and the adhesion to the canal wall there. You can see we've got lots of kind of thin, flappy pieces moving around in here. Um, they're a little bit more difficult to suction because as you get a grip on them, they kind of lift into the suction, whereas you, you need to get onto the flatter edge of them, really. But now that olive oil's gone in, look, you can see it's starting to see how, how much more it unsticks from the canal wall. It becomes a little bit looser. So we've got a chunk here at the front edge that we're trying to work on, but it's still held in. Oh, there, do you see that bit of movement then to the wax as it moved across? There we go. See, it's starting to wiggle and move around. So we, that olive oil's managed to work down the side of that wax. Now, look, we've managed to get a good, uh, good bit of movement to it. You can see it's starting to wiggle out. There we go, it's on its way. I'm trying to aim for that flatter section there. There we go. Starting to come away. Bit more of a wiggle to get it out. It's still quite stuck in there a minute. There you go. There we are. That's what it was. Wow. So it was that piece, look. This is what I could see from the front end, but all that was sitting behind it. So that's what was uh, that's what was attached and deep in the canal. 
Yes, yeah, right. in relation, so you imagine the ear, the ear drum itself is so about a centimetre across, so if it gives you some idea of how oh. plugged that was then, so it was. Okay, so going back in just to check, make sure we've got everything out. Can you see that's like pinched there, just in front, that's where it was wedged, but the ear drum itself looks uh, looks nice and healthy. Oh, which was kind of anchoring it into place as well, I'll show you that at the end now. Right, here we are, all done for that side, yes. feel okay? Yeah, champion. Good man. Right, let's take a look on this other side now then, so I'll scoot around here. Bring this around with me. Perfect. Okay, so exactly the same thing now on this side for you. Yeah. We'll see how soft this Okay, so when we take a look in this side, you can see the wax itself looks a little bit softer on this side. Uh, it's a bit more plugged, so we've managed to get a nice grip on the bottom section here. We're just pulling out so you can see it's crumbled that first bit off there so we'll just get rid of that off the end of the uh the suction tube so just going back in now so now we've got a piece to work on here it's quite a flat section so we're going to be able to get a good grip on this here we are broke another piece away and back in again <laughs> uh okay so just managing to aim for that larger flatter section of wax there just very slowly getting a grip on this. Now what you can see, can you see this layer of skin? Good. That was a nice oh, that's big... The, that's the that's oh. the, there you go. <laughs> starting to feel better? Yeah, it's Good to man, better. good man. Okay, so we've seen that there's a little ribbon of skin coming away. So this may well have a little bit of skin in it. It still looks like wax though from the front end. But if we get a grip here now and start to pull... Can you see this all starting to move now? So we've got hold of this hard section at the front. But watch what happens when we pull it. See it's held in, it detached from the end. But when we get a good look at this, you can see that this is one long ribbon of skin. So we're just gonna go back in now. We've just broken, so we're gonna aim a little bit higher onto that skin, try and get a good grip on it. There you go, there it comes. There you go. Do you see that there? What is that? That's dry skin. Dry skin? Yeah, it's come away like in one long strip and it concertinaed up in the ear canal. You can see just how long there is. Concertinaed up in the ear canal, so it ends up with a plug right there. So it, it's like a ribbon that wraps around itself yeah. and folds in and folds in and folds in on itself, and that's what happened there. Yeah, we did, I've done one of those once, and the, one, the piece I took out was 11 centimeters long. <laughs> it's like one of those magician's handkerchief things. Yeah. Okay, so we've got rid of the majority. You can see to the top left-hand corner, though, there is a little bit of uh, wax left. There's soft wax and a little bit of dry skin at the entrance. To the eardrum. I'm going to put a thinner end on now because I've got to do some more delicate work uh, just into one of the corners. Yeah, it's still not quite. Yeah, there's a little... I can see the majority of the eardrum, um, but there's a little bit in the top corner, so I just want to get rid of that. So we're using the fine end now because we've got to work in that uh, that top corner. Very slowly working our way down, see if we can get a grip on There you go. So that soft wax is gone. We managed to get a bit of more skin there, like you see, coming away. Just want to say uh, thank you to everyone that congratulated us for, for winning uh, the award for Best Audiology Company in Wales. Uh, it was really appreciated, guys. We took us a bit by surprise. So thank you so much for all your, your goodwill messages about that one is clear now on this side okay there's nothing sticking to it there's just a couple of little dots which I want to get rid of. Just a bit of tidying up to do around the entrance now then. Um, just shoving up a couple of these little pieces. It's going to rid of that bit of dry skin there. Uh, just for a bit of an update on merch as well guys I know a few people have asked about it. Um, we did have some samples through some came back really well some not so good so we've kind of done some alterations to the design so we're hoping that's going to be out uh, within the next four weeks I think but we'll keep you posted on that one so just tidying up and getting rid of some of the rest of this uh, this wax you can see there as we went to get that last piece it just flexed the eardrum a little bit it's a tiny dot it's soft it's not going to cause any problems so I'm gonna so the eardrum that itself uh, looks quite dull let me turn this off a second sorry so the eardrum itself looks quite dull so what we've got is a like a, a eardrum should look really shiny pearlescent 
uh, what you should have is a, is a sheen to it mm -hmm. but yours looks quite grey blue colour on the sides which is normally the indication that there may be a little bit of fluid that's sitting behind the eardrum just restricting its movement slightly so if you imagine the space behind the eardrum should be filled with air so when a sound hits that eardrum it vibrates really easily back right. and forth now when you start to we produce a fluid in that space all the time and when we yawn or swallow or chew, um, we open the tube which allows the fluid to drain out and air to go in. Now in your case, with that grey blue colour, I think what's happened is that the, the fluid has started to build up a little bit behind the eardrum. And then when a sound's hitting the eardrum, instead of pushing against the ear, it's pushing against the fluid so it doesn't vibrate as well as it should. So the, the smaller, softer sounds, which would only just vibrate the eardrum, aren't being transmitted through right. to the inner part of the ear. It's quite a common problem. Uh, it's called middle ear effusion, okay? So it will disappear over time. And as you yawn and swallow and chew, you're always trying to drain it away. And if you start hearing things like squeaking and popping and crackling and things like that, it's just a lot, it means the ear is getting back in, everything's working properly, all right? Which is probably why you still feel a little bit dull on that side. Mm. But the ear canal itself is lovely and clear. Other side looks good as well, so. All looking is good. That both sides then with the a little bit on the other side, not as bad as this one. Okay, but there okay. is a little bit on the other side, which is um, it basically just causing it to uh, just have a slight kind of greyish tinge to it. Uh, but you also have that kind of narrowing to the uh, ear canals on that side, so little bumps that come in from either side, and the wax has wedged itself in between. Now you've right. got a little bit on this side as well, certainly to the left-hand canal wall. There's a little bump which was where uh, the last few pieces we were taking away were hidden, right. kind of behind oh, there. Okay. Uh, but yeah, other than that looks quite healthy but those problems should sort themselves out without you having to intervene with yeah, them at all. Yeah well it's marvellous. Better? Oh super. <laughs> was it comfortable? Okay. Yeah, yeah yeah. Yeah it was the, okay. The washing sound and the, and the sucking yeah. Yeah, naturally, yeah that's not too bad. No. It's just I can hear again I yeah. don't know about that sound. Oh it makes a massive difference when it comes oh, away. It does make a massive tremendous. difference. So this is what um, this is what we took out so obviously this is what we had coming out of the first year here okay so that, that's the yeah. second year sorry. This is what came out of the first year was this piece and these little bits here were just uh, attached to the front end of this. Yeah. But that, what I could see, you know, the, the, the GP was saying it was a hardened piece, was actually this layer, that. this ribbon of skin, folded and wrapped around itself oh. uh, and really plugging that up then. So okay. Yeah. Yes. Feel okay? Yeah, it's fine. Awesome. So how how do you clean your ears? Uh, the best way to do it is to do leave them know. well alone, okay? It, but, <laughs> because most, the ear is a self-cleaning mechanism. You right. can put a little bit of olive oil in there um, just on a regular basis to keep any newly formed wax nice and soft. And okay. what you took away there, that long strip of skin was actually a piece of dry skin that had come away from the canal and carried on growing. So it just helps with problems like that as well. But if you just don't touch it at all, just let it do its job and just so put a little bit of olive oil in there. No cotton buds, no, nothing at all. Especially with your ear canal with the narrowing there as well, because wax can tend to be kind of plugged and dry within that right. gap. But if you put in the olive oil, it'll keep it soft. It'll migrate through that, that, that pinch, if you like, in the ear canal. Right. So it can get through a lot more easily then. Thank you very much for watching our video today. If you did enjoy the video, then please like. If you're not subscribed already, or you'd like to do so, you can click the subscribe button here. If you'd like to check out some more of our videos, they're also up there. Now, if you want to follow us, you can do on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and also check our website if you want to know a little bit more about us. And as always, guys, until the next time, take care.